try not to giggle here in class. For the, but for the past year or so, the American uh, chess genius Bobby Fischer has been, I think, waiting through all the best chess players in the world on his way to the World Championship. Last time he was on this show, uh, he said he'd be playing the Russian grandmaster Boris Spassky uh, after he had polished off another Russian master, Tigran Petrosian. And polished off seemed kind of arrogant. Uh, and, uh, but he's here tonight. He polished him off, and, um, <laughs> just as he promised. And the World Championship will take place uh, sometime later this year. And someone recently said about him at a match at the Manhattan Chess Club where he beat everybody in sight with no problems. He's just the greatest chess player who ever walked the earth. Um, will you watch him walk the earth out to this chair, <laughs> Mr. Bobby Fischer? Have you brought a fan club with you? <laughs> Doesn't seem in character for you. Do you like sitting there? Because if you move there and then I move here, or if you move there, this is, this is my attempt to do a chess joke. Yeah. I don't know any. It's okay. Hey, there's a thing in the Times today. <laughs> I break him up. <laughs> there's a thing in the Times today saying that the location hasn't been pinned down yet for this match. So, yeah, well, uh, we're going to work it out in a couple of weeks. Uh, yeah. Depends on who bids the most money to get the match, what country, is that how it goes? Well. It depends if me and the Russians agree on the site, then it's settled. But if we don't agree, then yeah. this international chess body is going to work it out. International chess organization. FIDE. So they ask you and Spassky, and right. if he says, if, you're both, if you both agree on Argentina, let's say, then that's That's it, right. But if we don't agree, then they're going to decide for us where it'll be. I see. And you get, how many rejects do you get? I don't even really know the system. I don't know. You know I study it too carefully, you know. Do you much care where it's played? Well, no, I'd like to play here, but uh, unfortunately, we didn't put up too much money, you know, so I don't know if I can accept it. Chicago bid, I think. Chicago, only $100,000. Uh, so yeah. Yugoslavia, 152000 yeah. Argentina, 150000 So, But you don't automatically go for the highest bidder, then? Well, I'm going to go for a pretty high bid, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> if Russia were chosen, how would you feel about that? Uh, I wouldn't be too happy, but they didn't even put a bid in. They saved me the trouble of uh, rejecting them. I wonder why they didn't. I know why. You see, the last time, they, they've been playing the match among themselves for decades, right? Yeah. And they've been playing for peanuts because chess is supposedly amateur over there, although they're all professional, but they want the rest of the world to think it's amateur. Mm -hmm. And, of course, they don't want their players getting rich either. So they don't want them you know, losing control of them. And they play for $5,000 for the title. Now, how can they come around saying, oh, for $150,000 or $200,000 for a match? Mm -hmm. and they've been playing among themselves for a few thousand dollars. That's one of the reasons. Aren't you kind of a hero over there, though, in the, in the CCCP? Oh, uh, what is a secret or something? CCCP? No, that's the, oh, that's, that's that's the, the Russian party? letters for USSR. Oh, am It stands for Soyuz Sovietskik Socialistichesky Kospublik. Oh, good. Uh, <laughs> you see, Mr. Fisher, I am Boris Spassky. <laughs> <laughs> and the match is tonight. This is your life. <laughs> I'm sorry. Uh, but, the, you know, you're kind of a hero over there, aren't you? I am among the uh, common people, not too much among the, uh, you know, the party leaders and the leaders of the country. Uh, they, don't, they don't go for me too much. They, they write, they say very nice things about you for export, but I understand that in their local magazines, uh, right. which then come over here in translation, they talk about the unfortunate aspects of your character, which they find it unpleasant to have to report. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <right. laughs> Do you read those things? Oh, yeah. I read them. I keep up with what they're saying. Yeah. Yeah. They're just uh, making me mad, helping me. So yeah. I enjoy it. Yeah. yeah. Could anger hurt your play if you were, if you were angry during a game? No. I, I, it's a cool anger, you know, determination. I, I don't lose my temper. Yeah. Yeah. Couldn't get... Uh, when you were here last time, you, you said something which was widely quoted. I asked you what corresponds to the great moment of, say, hitting a home run in a, in a ball game, and you said to crush the other guy's ego. Uh, do you remember the moment when that happened with Petrosian? Was there a moment? Yeah, after uh, the sixth game, I felt him crumbling at that stage. Mm -hmm. He and came into the game looking a little bit, you know, mousy, and <laughs> I took it from there, you know. <laughs> it's funny because they say, uh, I believe in, the, in a big tournament like this, you get three days off for illness. Um, and a man said, um, Fisher's opponents always have a way of becoming ill. What is that? What do you do to them? 
Well, there's a tremendous amount of pressure in these matches, and uh, mm -hmm. you know, it's really it's, the strain is you know, it's really tremendous. Just yeah. day after day, you're playing five hours, and if it's adjourned, the next day, six hours. But you've been up all night studying the adjourned position, and there's a lot of pressure. You could stay up all night, and, sure. and, and not fear the fact that the lack of sleep would wreck your game. Well, you try and have it all worked out in your memory, so you really, when you just come in there, just playing things by rote. Of course, mm -hmm. it's not that easy. You have to try not to fall asleep sometimes. Yeah. What would it do to your ego if, by some t terrible chance, you were you were beaten in this match? Hmm. Well, uh... <laughs> you obviously haven't thought about the possibility. I try not to think about it too much. I'd right. realize it was a fluke, and. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> If, uh, now, you, you, this isn't something that is over like a fight in one night. It takes about, uh, what? Two months. Two months. Mm -hmm. 24 matches. Right. Yeah. Is there, is there any way, uh, uh, Bobby, that you can judge from reading the, uh, the achievements of past chess masters, whether, you're not, whether you think you're the greatest chess player that ever walked well, well, the earth? We've got a rating system, and according mm -hmm. to the present rating system, I have the highest rating of any player that's ever lived. They kind of, of course, it's hard to rate the players that are from the past mm -hmm. that are dead now. Mm -hmm. uh, but uh, wait, 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 you have the right. records. So they go back. Say they yeah. say my record against Botvinnik, then Botvinnik's record against Irve, and then Irve's record against so and so. And they go all the way back. And according to the, the system, I have the highest rating, and the system is accepted by the International Chess Organization. Highest mm -hmm. rating ever, or highest? Ever, yeah. 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 Uh, yeah. Can I ask it? <laughs> well, this is a dumb question, but I'm going to ask it because I want to know. Uh, as a chess player, that's what you are. Right. Okay. Pro, That's pro, all I want to ask. No, I wanted to know if he did something on his side. When? In his spare time. I don't know. Tell, I him, mean, tell him how hard you work at it. That's yeah. what I mean. I wonder if it's, a, it's a full time. Full time. Let, let me put the question. It's not like a hobby. For you. Oh, thank you. Have, <laughs> Miss Duncan wants to know, know, do you or would you do something on the side? Right. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I've ruined the question. Uh, I, I'd like you to show us something involving an actual chessboard when we come back. We'll be back after this message. <laughs> this is a chessboard, and uh, I, I know you can't imagine a person not knowing what it all means. Can you give someone a crash lesson? Okay, what do you want to know? Uh, I'd, li I'd like to know uh, what, what these things are called. No, I know all that. Well, we're going to know the pawns. Yeah. This is the rook, knight, bishop, queen, king. Okay? Yeah. And pawn moves like one, two at the first move. Uh -huh. Captures diagonally. Yeah. Okay, that's the pawns. <laughs> oh, it becomes a queen when you reach the end. Yeah. Or a knight, or a rook, or a bishop. Mm -hmm. uh, cannot become a king, cannot stay a pawn. Okay? Okay, got it. And a few other little things with pawns. Okay, knights move like, like it's kind of like an L. Mm hmm see from here they go here yeah okay yeah. bishops they move diagonally like yeah. so you, you handle, can't jump over things right? you handle them beautifully thank you yeah. now kings move one square in any direction mm -hmm. but generally you keep the king way back until the end game because it's uh, if you lose the king you lose the game yeah that's what it's that's where it's at that's what it's about now, let's see, the queen is the most powerful piece. It moves like a bishop. Well, first let me come to the rook. The rook moves like this. Straight. Any, any. Oh, always straight, can't jump. Right. Okay. And the queen Close moves on. like a bishop, yeah. like so, and like a rook. It's a very powerful piece. It has tremendous scope. Yeah. Chop now, this pawn off if it wants, chop this pawn off. As I understand, dangerous. at the end of your match with Petrosian, his uh, his something or other turned into queens. Is that do you know what I'm saying? Oh, well, I was going to. See, in... When we play top level chess, once you're, once you're dead lost, you don't drag it out to the bitter end to the checkmate and resign. Yeah. It's kind of you know, a gentlemanly thing to do. Could he beat you in this sense that if you tie, he retains the title, doesn't he? The next match with Spassky, right. Yeah. yeah. So uh, if he elects to turn it into a draw all down the line, then does he retain the title? Right, yeah. I have would, to beat would, him. would a world champion do that? Sure he would. <laughs> yeah. yeah. But I'm not going to let him, actually. Oh, good. good, good. <laughs> for the people now, it, it's silly to waste your time giving me an elementary lesson in chess. Could you show for the people who really know the game what the last moments of the Petrosian match were and what they meant, or can you remember them? Yeah, yeah, well, that was very simplified. Let's see. This thing is up. I've got to take all this stuff away. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know what to do with it either. <laughs> Everything's gone. This is That's gone. supposed to be.
Are, are you working from a picture in your head of what it was like? Right. Yeah. Yeah. Here we go. This was it, and I pl and it was my move here, mm -hmm. and I played. Was it my move here? <laughs> yeah, I went here. That was mm -hmm. the final position. And what did that do to everything else? Well, the idea was going to push this pawn down here and get a queen, and then I was going to checkmate him. So mm -hmm. all he, he couldn't do much. I have, I have four pawns for the piece. He's got a knight and, it's a, and a pawn. And I have five pawns, so it's four pawns for compensation for the knight. And it's practically impossible to stop this pawn. For example, he could go here, hitting this pawn, right? Can you see a way that he could have won this? Oh, no. no. Here's where he gave up. Sure. So it was a couple moves before this that he still had a, a possibility of winning, was it? Or how many moves ahead of this? Well, he, he, was, he was dead lost for... Uh, Half a dozen moves before this, but you know. When did he realize it? Well, you know, it's hard to give up. And, you know, it's a big game. This is for the yeah. to play for the world title. Do you have a hunch that you knew he was done before he did? No, we both or knew it. Did you see it, it on the we, same? We both move. knew it. It was just kind of a heartbreaking loss for him, and you know, he wanted to drag it out of him. So. Yeah. Wipe that smile off your face. <laughs> <laughs> did he have to go to a resort in the Black Sea for a week after this uh, to recover? Or? No, I mean, as a matter was, of fact, his... uh, they didn't send him away anywhere. You know, mm -hmm. I thought people were talking about that, but he played in a big tournament, went back to Russia, played in a big tournament, and he beat Boris Spassky in a chess game. Now, when I'm going to play next? Where does that put him if he beats Spassky? Uh... Well, it wasn't for the it wasn't a part of this official deal. Oh, just so in he just beat friendly, him in a in, friendly no, play. It wasn't too friendly. But, uh, you beat yeah. him a real game. So. Ralph was telling me that they take physical examinations uh, for the matches. Or yeah, the interesting thing is, why is it that, is, is it generally believed that if you, you hit 40 or 43, you're going downhill? It's a young man's game, and it's tremendous physical strength. Right, I mean, the concentration, you're sitting there for hour after hour, and if you have a, just, you know, when you get a little older, you have these momentary mental lapses, or you just weaken, you, don't, you can't give it all you've got. That's all. It just takes this much just to miscalculate yeah. one little thing in your mind, you know? And, uh, What's the peak period? For example, when do you think you'll reach your peak in terms of age? Well, I'm different. I mean, I, I intend to keep playing for a long time. But <laughs> <laughs> What's your age right now? 28. 28, yeah. I, mean, I intend to be real good for another 30 years, but generally speaking, they go down <laughs> about 40. Ordinary people. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> what Question were you, number... What were you going to say? I'm going to say... <laughs> it says here... Are all chess masters egomaniacs? Oh, yeah. <laughs> He's right. That's cute. I was saving that. You were saving that, and I blew it for you. No, uh, it, is, it must be true, though. I mean, it must be, because it involves your whole uh, life. If you're a chess master, you don't do anything else, do you? This is true. It does attract an egocentric crowd, you know? Yeah. It's just you and the board and your opponent and you're trying to prove something. Yeah. Is there a finite number of possible chess games? Uh, they say there is, I, think, I, mean, I don't know, something with two numbers and then I don't know how many, you know, hundred zeros or something, I don't know. But, uh, there must be, because there's a limited number of squares and there can only be so many. Right. Yeah, is that yeah. right or is that true or false? Is there a fallacy in that? I think there is a limited number, but uh, yeah, it's, yeah. it's more think, than the mind can fathom. Do you think you'll ever show an a international chess uh, contest on network television? You think oh, it'll yeah. ever reach yeah. that point I think uh, so. I mean, in this country? Uh, for example, the series of matches I played. In the first match was like $1,000 or something I got. Mm -hmm. second match I got 2000 The third match I got 7500 The next match, if I win, I'm going to get about $93,000 for the winner's yeah. share. So there definitely seems to be a lot of interest being generated. Uh, I think anything is possible, sure. Yeah. There's, there's what, never are gonna, what are you going to do if they, if they hold you to three hours? You know, well, we'll just like change, we'll change the time limit. I'm, uh, I'm reasonable. <laughs> <laughs> when you've taken intelligence tests in school, what parts of them do you score highest on? Um, I don't know. They never, you know, they never gave me the. Uh, report. You never take the standard test. I think I took it, but they never give you the, the report. Yeah. I think I was good with these. Um, had these little square boxes and puzzles and this kind of thing. <laughs> is that, is that what they call relations. spatial relations? Spatial relations. Those yeah. things where they say how many sides are not showing on this and thing. And then they were giving me. I remember this one little kid. They were giving me numbers mm -hmm. and told me to tell them backwards, and they were making shooting them off backwards fast. You know? Are okay. you good at anagrams for any reason? You know, I mean, uh, uh, if I say plates to you, can you immediately reform those letters into five other words? Oh, no, I can't. I saw someone, who's some basketball player on TV doing that a few months ago? Yeah. Oh, was it? Probably me. You probably... <laughs> no, I have that weird thing. I, I, if you say plates, I see petals and pleats and pastel and staple. And it's a weird wow. gift. It is not, oh. It's not worth anything <laughs> on the market, obviously. I don't know why I have that, and I wondered if that would translate into this, because I'm not very good at spatial relations, but I apparently can rearrange letters in my head for some 
quirky reason that's probably a, a onset of schizophrenia. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. But you don't happen to, you're not particularly good at word games. Uh, uh, not particularly. I mean, I'm, all, I'm really specialized. I don't really care too much about these things. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Sorry, I talked about it. <laughs> we have a message from our local station. We'll be back. What do they get paid? What were we talking about? Can I know what you were talking about? <laughs> Uh, you said you don't have any, really any interest that said, Jess. Do you do anything else? You know, I mean, uh, do, you, do you like mystery stories uh, for any reason? Do we work out the plot? Uh, mm, no, I like to keep up with, you know, world news and uh, yeah. events. I follow what uh, Ralph is doing here. Do you? Yeah. yeah that kind of thing. Yeah. But you don't have any other support. Uh, you, you, I know you ride horseback, because I saw that picture of you on a gaucho pony. Well, down I had to do it. You know, you have to make compromises for, uh, you know, to get this publicity. So I, I did, that. I did they, a few things. You know, they dared you to ride a <laughs> pony. Right, yeah. yeah. Was that rough? Did you nearly get thrown off? No, it was a lot of fun. No, yeah. I liked it. it and you do keep in physical shape yeah, by uh, working out, what, tennis, swimming? Right. I've been taking up a little bowling lately. That's a good game. Yeah. If you were forced to not play for two weeks, would something happen in you? Would, if, could, would, is there any, is there any chance it might be good for you to uh, force yourself to not think about chess for two weeks to see if something would... Well, I really haven't I'm even uh, been looking at chess for a few days, but uh, I think my subconscious mind works on it all the time. So, Because mm -hmm. it seems even when I'm not playing or studying or doing anything, I sit down on the board, I got a lot of new ideas, things are coming to me all the time. So you don't really know where they came from? They just come, yeah. yeah. Do, uh, do you dream chess moves? No. Have you I ever don't. had a dream in which you play, were playing chess? Never, no. Yeah. I, I dream about the detective mysteries. Strange, I don't know. You do? You dream dreams yeah. with plots? And yeah, and I don't even read those books. That's, I wonder about it. <laughs> so they're coming from somewhere, too. Yeah, that, that's weird. Uh, it's hard to find a girl who can discuss uh, Capablanca and how he handled the Sicilian defense against Alekin, or is that, um, or did I pronounce any of those names right? <laughs> Yeah, this is a problem. This is a big... Uh, <laughs> is it, you think chess is a sexist game? Uh, 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 I don't think it is at all. I'd welcome uh, some girls in chess. <laughs> I mean, have any tried to, to enter uh, the competition? Well, there was Lisa Lane. By the way, you said, I think you said she was uh, dead or something. She's, she's around. Oh, I'm... <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah I, did. I, I certainly apologize yeah. to her. No, I had a note that she... I assumed she was back in the 19th century for some reason. No, some no, old Lisa Lane. What? She's lying. Sure, that was news to her then. <laughs> <laughs> well, have they entered competition? Yeah, there was there was one very famous one, Vera Menchik from Hungary, and the best one now is uh, Nona Gabrind. No, no, yeah, right, Nona Gabrindashvili of the Soviet Union, and she is a very good player, mm -hmm. and uh, she plays with, with men now. Plays the tournaments with men. And, and there's no discrimination against her? In, no, in chess is wide open. We don't have amateurs. We don't have discrimination with women, anybody, we don't, kids. You know, I played when I was a kid. Everybody is welcome, old people, everyone. Can you take a guy and coach him and make him uh, a 50% better player? I think I could, yeah. 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 How do you feel about that? Uh, Schoenberg, the uh, Times music critic, wrote an article comparing you to great composers and saying that the way a sonata is composed has a certain sort of beginning, middle, and ending that a chess game has and that the, the kind of genius that you have is comparable to the great composers. Did, did you like that? Yeah, that's a, there's a little truth to that, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Was there any of it that bugged you? Oh, well, uh, he said a few things about uh, I'm paranoid, he said. Or something like that. Yeah. Paranoid? It was a great article, though. Yeah. Yeah. I didn't mind. Because you have to take these things on the balance. He didn't say you were paranoid. You imagined that. Wait a minute. Uh, where do you live, generally? Uh, in hotels. Yeah. <laughs> so if a guy wants to write to you with his chess problem, uh, he has to find you wherever you are. Well, I have, I have a mail drop sort of thing. Do you? Yeah. yeah. Do people write you their, their problems and say, can you work this out, or do they devise things and send you a puzzles? A few. It's basically they just want a few autographs or something like that. Mm -hmm. My picture. I, I get do, you send us, yeah. <laughs> do you send them autographs and pictures? Oh, I'm sorry to say I don't. Yeah, I yeah. should. I know. Yeah. <laughs> how are the Russians studying you now? Uh, are they plotting how to, how to get you? Sure, I think that they probably have a, a team working with Spassky. I'm sure he has a whole set of archives and files, and he just knows every game I've ever played, and not just the game, but the game has comments and suggestions for him to improve on the other guy's play or on my play. And wow. 
And are you doing probably a got a physical trainer or two, and who knows what else. Are you doing the same in a way? Uh, oh, although you don't have all the scale, I don't have mm, the resources available that he has, but uh, I don't think I need them. You know, to take care of him. So yeah. No worries. When, when when is it again? Start, when does it start? Uh, the date hasn't been fixed. It has to begin before June thirtieth. Sometime to be before from a between point. I think April and June thirtieth. It has to start. Yeah. Gee, I'm really anxious. I'm anxious. We have a brief message from our local stations. We'll be back. <laughs> Uh, tomorrow night, Cliff Robertson, uh, Deputy Commissioner Daly, about the big Pierre bank robbery and Cantonita Horn, Indian lady, and uh, Stan Getz, Joao Gilberto, and uh, thanks to Bobby Fisher. Thank you for being here, Ralph Nader and Sandy Duncan, and, and um, you're here in Star Spangled Girl, right? The, no. We didn't even show. Oh, now you say you're not. Yes, I am. You make me laugh. I know. <laughs> well, thank you, thank you for uh, good good luck to you. By the way, if I don't see you again before that, Robert, thank and uh, same to you, Ralph. Same to you, Sandy. We'll see you tomorrow night. Good night. Thank you.